going up to a soldier. He opened his eyes as I knelt beside him. Ah, Father Doyle, Father Doyle, he whispered faintly. And then he motioned me to bend lower, as if he had some message to give. As I did so, he put his two arms around my neck and kissed me. It was all the poor fellow could do to show his gratitude that he had not been left to die alone and that he would have the consolation of receiving the last sacraments before he went to God. Sitting a little way off, I saw a hideous, bleeding object, a man with his face smashed by a shell with one, if not both eyes, torn out. He raised his head as I spoke. Is that the priest? Thank God I am all right now. I took his blood-covered hands in mine as I searched his face for some whole spot on which to anoint him. I think I know better now why Pilate said, Behold the man, when he showed our Lord to the people. I remember reading about